Hello, welcome to the second video of the introduction to IoT using Node MCU video series. In this video, we will give you a brief introduction on what is Node MCU. So, what is Node MCU? It is a low cost open source IoT platform. The MCU stands for Microcontroller Unit. It is a pairing of firmware and hardware based on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Originally, developers used to associate the term Node MCU to their open source firmware which ran on the ESP8266, but gradually the term became synonymous with the development board. Now why is this board so popular? One of the reasons is that it is cheap and small and can be used efficiently on a breadboard for developing small projects. But the most distinguishing factor of this board is that it has this Wi-Fi module called the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. It is a low-cost Wi-Fi enabled microchip with a full TCP IP stack and microcontroller capabilities. It runs at 3.3 volt. It has a processor of 80 Hz. It has an antenna that provides Wi-Fi connectivity at 2.4 GHz. Another factor why this board is so popular is that it is compatible with Arduino programming. Now, Arduino programming is based on C language. Most of the people who start programming start with C or Java, so they can easily learn this Arduino programming and build IoT projects. Now, let us look at this Node MCU more closely and discuss its different components. On the right hand side, we can see pins marked as D0, D1, D2, D4. Now these are the digital pins. There are 9 digital pins on Node MCU. Now we can see we have 3.3 volt and a ground pin. This Node MCU runs at a voltage of 3.3 volt. Now we have a receiver and transmitter pin. This receiver and transmitter pins are used for serial communication where we can connect Bluetooth or GSM modules. On the left hand side, we have an analog pin labeled as A0, which is used for analog input. We can connect an ADC or an analog to digital converter to this pin. Following that, we have two reserved unused pin. Then we have SD pins, which is used to connect to external memory or external RAM or any microprocessor. We cannot connect any I.O. devices to this pin, so these pins usually remain unused in, our, in most of the IoT projects. Now we again have a ground and 3.3 volt pin, followed by that we have an enable and reset pin. Then we have a VIN for power input. This pin can be used to power the node MCU when we choose to not use the USB cable. Now we have the reset button which will power the board off and back on when pressed. There is a flash button which is used when flashing new firmware to ESP8266. There are also two surface mount LEDs. Now the one near the antenna will blink repeatedly when a new code is being uploaded to the board. Now this is the ESP8266 and this is the USB port where we can use to power the board on. Now that's all for now. Thank you for your patient listening. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for further videos on this course. Thank you.